Hello everyone, this is AK. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create an ETL data pipeline using Pandas. I already posted how to create an ETL data pipeline using Azure. But in case, if you don't know about what is the process of ETL, then you can check those videos for better understanding about the ETL process. Okay. Other than that, if you are from Python background and if you know about the Pandas, then this video will be very helpful for you. Many data engineers, they don't suggest to use Pandas for ETL because it doesn't support any parallel execution like Spark. So if you want to learn about the Spark and Pandas, then please watch this video for knowing the differences between Spark and Pandas. Okay. Before going into this video, do like, share, comment and subscribe for more updates related to data engineering and data science. So let's start this video. Before writing the code, let's see about the process of our ETL pipeline. First of all, I'm not going to make any big ETL data pipelines here. For the data set, I'm going to create a simple data frame in Pandas and then I'm going to create a data pipelines with respect to my data frame. The data pipelines are not quite complicated here because the main idea of this video is to understand the Pandas capacity of creating the data pipelines. Okay, so that's all about the concept. Let's see the code. The first block of code, I insert a two libraries in Python, NumPy and Pandas. Use case of both libraries are using NumPy, you can perform the numerical processing and Pandas is for data manipulation. And in the second block, I created one simple data frame. And if you look at the data frame, we have four different columns called as ID, A, B, C. We are going to manipulate those columns by using the Pandas pipelines. Okay. For creating the data pipelines in Pandas, you should know about the programming concept called functions. Data pipelines in Pandas are created by functions in Python. So for the first pipeline, I'm going to remove the null values in my data frame. There are some null records in my pipeline. Here I wrote the logic of filling those null values with mean. Okay. So this is our first pipeline and the second one is to deal with the duplicates. Here I declared one function called drop duplicates and inside the function I call the drop duplicates function from pandas to dropping the duplicates value in my data frame. And final one is to remove the outliers. I declared a function called as remove outliers and for removing the outliers we need some sort of values. So it could be done by some mathematical transformations. We need two transformation. One is we have to find the average and the second one is to find the standard deviation. So I call those two inbuilt function from Python and I'm removing the outliers here. So these are the data pipelines we have created, but technically these are not data pipelines. These are just functions. So if you want to convert these functions into data pipelines, there is one inbuilt function called pipe. So using pipe, we can convert those user defined functions as a data pipelines. So once you create the pipe function, you should pass the parameters like which columns you want to apply the functions. Here I put some columns to the function. So once you finish giving the parameters, you can print the processor data frame that we created here. So let's run this code. So see here we have the processor data frame in my terminal. So that's all about this video. Now you know how to write a data pipelines in pandas. Thanks for watching and thank you. See you on next week.